Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and today I'm doing my first ever Sephora recommendations video. I'm so excited to do this video because I've had a lot of new product in the last year that I'm absolutely in love with. So I just thought I would give you some of my favorite items of the year and you can find all of these on Sephora, especially Sephora Canada. I'm going to leave all the links down below so you guys can find them. As you guys know, Sephora is having their twice a year sale, which is up to 20% off. This only happens twice a year, so make sure you do not miss out. It obviously is varying depending on your status. So if you have Rouge, you can actually get all the 20% and then it goes down from there. I'm gonna leave a picture here so you guys see the dates and discounts, but make sure you do not miss out on the sale. Without further ado, let me get into my favorite products this year. The first product that I wanna share with you is the JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. This air dry cream is on honestly something that I've used over like two full bottles and I absolutely love this air dry cream. If you guys have wavy hair like me, you can easily achieve your natural textured look by simply using one product. Typically to get my wavy hair, I usually need to use three products to achieve, which I was able to find just having to use one, which is absolutely amazing. If you have even wavier hair, you can use even more product and the more defined you want, the more product you can use. I find that it's very easily buildable. If you want something a little bit lighter, not as wavy, I use a little bit less product. So I feel like there's a lot of flexibility to this and I absolutely love this product along with a lot of his other products, but this one is definitely my favorite out of all of them. The next product I have to tell you guys about is the Milk Primer. You can already see that I'm using about this much of it. I loved it so much that I actually went to buy the travel size, which reminds me one of my biggest hacks for Sephora. If you guys want to know some of the best products for each brand, how you can find out is by simply checking out what products are in the minis because any product that is in the minis, I feel like each brand has carefully thought it out and always produces minis of their most successful products. So by even simply going on the Sephora website and looking at what is available in minis, you can tell which products sell the most amount of units and SKUs within the brand. That being said, I love this so much. I went and got the mini. This primer truly makes your makeup stay on all the live long day. One time I I use this primer at 6 a.m. for a photo shoot and I also went out to the club until 3 a.m. and my makeup was still intact. It was insane. I absolutely love this product and you definitely need this in your makeup routine. The next product I'm absolutely in love with is this blush right here. This one is the blush by Merit and this one is in the color Rouge. Not just about the blush but also about the color. This color is honestly your classic red. This is like your Christmas red. You can even see that this is matching with the tree in the back. I have had so many compliments about this blush. I personally find the best way to use this is you need to use a brush. I feel like you can obviously use it with your fingers and I think this was what it was meant to be used for, like just putting it on your fingers and sort of dabbing it out. But I feel like usually after you put on foundation, etc., I feel like the best way to put it on where it looks seamless is by using a brush. So if it's not working for you through your fingers, make sure you use that tip because at first, before I got a hang of it, I was kind of not really loving the product until I figured out it was the way that I was using that mattered a lot. The next products I want to talk about, I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but this is the Innisfree Eye Serum. You can already see I've used this much of it. I've already finished one full one, but I also am using two on the go. I have one for my morning and one at night. This product honestly is so easy to use and I also love that there is like a little silver section. So when you pump out the product and you put it under your eye like so, you also have this cooling effect because of the applicator and it's just one of those products that is so easy to use it's super comfortable and it's great for building up your brightness as well as your hydration and it also sets your under eye up really nicely before you start putting your makeup which actually brings me to my next item that i absolutely love this is the vitamin enriched eye base by bobby brown if you guys don't already know i love their face cream slash primer it's actually a hybrid so if you are someone who is too lazy to put on face cream and primer you can actually get that product and it actually acts as a hybrid 
for my makeup days that are a little bit more natural, I actually like to use that face cream a lot. I find that the eye cream, however, is amazing for under eye, especially if you want something a little bit more hydrating. And if you're trying to avoid creasing in your under eye, make sure you pay attention to what eye cream you use. I personally think that this one is a really, really good option. So if you are looking for something to help with creasing, I think this one will be a really good place to start. And then obviously after that, look at the amount of concealer you're putting on, etc. But I think this is a really good place to start. The next item that I've been extremely impressed with this year is actually the Tower 28 concealer. This one, this concealer is actually also kind of sold as a serum and you can kind of tell from the consistency. It's extremely potent, but at the same time, it's extremely hydrating and it doesn't feel like really, really thick makeup. So even though it has heavier coverage, I just feel like because of the consistency, it feels really nice on your skin. So I definitely recommend giving this a go. I love putting this in my under eye, but if I get a different color, I definitely want to use this as an all over concealer or even just on lighter makeup days to just use concealer and nothing else. Moving on to foundation, there's actually quite a bit of foundation that has impressed me this year, but one of the top foundations that have definitely taken the cake is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur. This one was so viral on TikTok and honestly viral for a really good reason. This foundation is not only lightweight, but it covers so seamlessly and it looks like you have a filter on your face. The marketing, the TikTok, honestly, none of it lies. The beauty about this is also obviously it is buildable as well. And I also love the packaging. They kept it simple. It is easy to carry around and everything about this is honestly my favorite. Huda Beauty products, honestly, in general are amazing. And if you guys have not tried Huda Beauty, you need to give it a try. And this is also a really great place to start. The next products that I want to sh share with you guys is probably the powder for me that takes the cake. This is the Makeup by Mario powder. And this is also the puff that has kind of won over my heart as well. I went to his masterclass. Going to his masterclass actually made me love these two products more just because number one, I found out that this product does not have talc. A lot of powder products have talc because I feel like it's really, really hard to avoid. And I think a lot of people try to avoid it for health reasons, obviously, but in terms of powdered makeup, it's very, very hard to avoid. A lot of really good loose powders out there actually have talc, but this one works pretty well and it doesn't have it. That's why he took so long to formulate this product. I just absolutely love that. This powder puff, initially when I got it, I was like, why is it so big? I don't even know how to use it until I went to see his masterclass. And honestly, it was genius. How he uses it is he puts one finger in, whether it's your index finger, your middle finger, whatever tickles you fancy. He then bunches it up for precision. So when he dips into the powder, he dips it and he puts it on your face like this. And then you're able to use it for every single area. And I just think it's genius. So I've been really loving this duo. I put it all over my face, not just on my under eyes and I, I've just been loving it. The next product I want to share with you guys is a couple of brushes. The first one is this one by Hourglass. It's actually more the shape of this brush that I am showing you. Merit has the exact same brush and I absolutely love them both. This obviously the first option is using it for foundation. It's amazing, but I actually use the exact same brush and I also use it to blend my powder, my cream powder, my bronzer, etc. This is one of those products where it honestly works on any product. And if you make a mistake, it is so easy to go in with this brush to kind of just dab it through. This is one of the most versatile brushes you could own and it honestly works for everything. The next one that I wanted to share with you guys is actually this one by Hourglass. This one by Hourglass has actually taken the internet by storm. I feel like every single beauty influencer out there is using this as their foundation brush. And once I got it, I understood why. It honestly makes putting on foundation very easily. And also because of the way that it's angled at the top, if you can see, and up here, you can also use this for your concealer, even though I use this for my concealer as well. But this one, it really, really goes in there. It's really, really precise. And I feel like when you blend it with your under eye makeup, it just looks really good. So this brush honestly was worth the hype. I bought this a couple months ago and I really, really like it. 
One brush I also need to bring up is the brush that honestly amazed me so much in 2023 and in 2024. This brush looks so freaking weird, but let me tell you, it is honestly the best thing I've ever used. It's actually by Rare Beauty and it was marketed as a blush brush. So it's a brush for your blush. I only use it for my powder products. So I will use my powder blush and I literally dab it. And also, even though it's advertised for a blush, but I also use this for my bronzer because I feel like when I use this angle and I go upwards like this, it is so precise and at the same time distributes my bronzer so evenly it is so beautiful i can't even describe I, it just it's so weird like i've never seen a brush that looks like this but rare beauty you win on this one i highly recommend especially if you are a powdered blush and bronzer person this is honestly one of the best brushes i've ever used the next item that I want to share with you guys are two mascaras that have really impressed me this year, especially for my short Asian lashes. The first one is the Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Mascara. It's such a mouthful, but this is the packaging of the mascara. And I don't know if you can actually tell by just looking at the bristles itself, but it is extremely precise. And I just love that even after I use my setting spray, this stays on pretty well. I just think that it's so great for short Asian lashes and it gives you that precision for your bottom lashes as well. So make sure you check out this mascara because it's amazing. The next one that I want to share with you is actually the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. So Benefit actually came out with multiple colors. So obviously the black one is amazing. This is not the black one, but the black one is the one that I took with me on my trip all summer. It honestly carried my summer. I love that mascara so much. Also super precise. I love everything about it. Like if you just look at that, you can also see we have another one that is amazing for Asian lashes. What I really, really want to share with you guys is that this actually also comes in different colors. It comes in a brown mascara, red, as you guys can see, and blue. And honestly, it's added this level of creativity to my makeup. And I just feel like on a funner day, I put on a different color. If you guys want something a little bit lighter and more neutral, I highly recommend checking out the brown one. The brown one is also amazing. And I also love red and blue. I sometimes spice up my makeup of the day by just putting on some colored mascara. The one thing that I will always keep purchasing on every single Sephora haul is this eyeliner right here. This is the Lancome Le Stylo Waterproof. And this one, I get it in both dark brown and black. If you guys use your dark brown eyeshadow as your eyeliner and find that it comes off very often, this one is a really good hybrid. It's not liquid, but what you can do and how I usually use it is I draw it on and I use a brush to smudge it out. And because it's waterproof, it lasts all day and it does not not smudge off because I feel like a lot of the eyeshadow ones will really come off. I think I've honestly bought at least 10 of them, five at least in the brown and five at least in the black. And it's always, always impressed me. I don't use the back of this very often, but you can also use the back to sort of smudge the eyeliner. So if you put this on the top of your eye for a more smoky look, you can also really blend this out like so. And I just feel like it gives this really, really sexy vibe when you sort of blend out your eyeliner so it looks a little bit more smoky and it lasts all day. I have two skincare products. I actually have a lot more, but I honestly had to pick some of my top two. The first one is actually the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I know this is quite shocking. I know their lip mask is actually super viral, especially the pot lip mask, but I've been loving this one a lot more just because I really don't like to put my finger into something, especially when I'm on the go. On my no makeup days, when I still need a lip balm, I've been really loving this. It has the same effect as sort of the pot lip balm without having to touch your fingers. I just feel like not as many people know about this product, which is why I'm sharing it with you and it's taken priority, but definitely check it out. My favorite, favorite scent is in the mango and it is absolutely delicious and I absolutely am obsessed. The next product I'm sharing with you is actually one by Caudalie. They sent over three of these and I used it all summer with me and my mom and I absolutely love this product. It also comes in the gel form. I love all three of them that is available in this packaging. Number one, it is super 
easy to travel with and it gives you a lot of product. Second, the product is amazing. It does have fragrance though. So if you do have sensitive skin, maybe keep that in mind if you're gonna get this product. And third, there's one for morning, one for night, and it's just absolutely so easy to use. It's so hydrating for my skin and it's hyaluronic acid based. I just feel like it has really saved my skin this summer because I was under the sun so much and the only my face didn't get a rash and every other upper part of my body got a rash. So I would like to credit it to this cream right here. So make sure you guys check it out. There's three different ones if you guys wanna just try out one, but all three of them are really great. The gel one is very lightweight before your makeup if you want. And then there's also a heavier one for nighttime. I want to move on to lip products now. These four lip liners are probably the only brands that I use on rotation. If there's another one, you can tell me. But the first one is obviously MAC. MAC is a classic, classic lip liner and it's just been around for so long. They never fail. Their colors are amazing. Some of my favorite colors from the MAC liners are Strip Down, Stone, Oak. Oak is probably one of my favorite ones in the entire world. Honestly, it goes with anything. And Soar is a really good pink one. I don't love that you have to sharpen it, but it is what it is. Thus, I do have two other brands that I will recommend to you where you do not have to sharpen. So if that is actually something that bothers you as well, the first one is the Huda Beauty lip liners. This is actually the lip liner that I'm wearing today. It is in the color warm brown. This is the Huda Beauty lip liner. As you can see, you can just roll it up and it will come up. Let me tell you right now that the Huda Beauty the lip liner is going to be the most blendable lip liner you will ever use. It is way more blendable than the MAC one. It's like butter. It, it blends so easily and I absolutely love all of their colors. It is amazing. The one that I do also want to recommend to you is actually the Too Faced Lip Injection. My favorite color from them is actually a brown color. So if you're into that, make sure you check it out. It's called Espresso Shot. The great thing about the Too Faced Lip Liner is also that obviously you don't have to sharpen. It actually is kind of like a clicky pen, but also just like their other lip injection products, it has a stinging feeling. So for this one, if you're looking for something that will plump your lip, then this is the one to go. When you put it on, you're going to immediately notice that your lips have that stinging effect. So if you don't like that stinging effect, then do not get this lip liner. But if that is your thing and you love the lip injection product line, make sure you check this out. I know that through social media, you have probably seen all of the YSL Love Shine, lipstick, etc., lip balm, whatever. I think there's actually three product lines. This one is my favorite. I don't know. I'm honestly getting confused now because there's three. It's all called Love Shine. I'm going to leave my favorite color here because I actually left it in the car, but a lot of their colors honestly are amazing. The reason why this is good is because number one, it smells good. Number two, the colors generally work with my skin tone. And then lastly, it also is super hydrating to the point that you don't need to put on an additional lip gloss or lip oil or whatever it is afterwards. Honestly, this has been really worth the hype. I've tried all of their Love Shine products and this one is probably my favorite. Two other lip products I wanna recommend is number one, the Guerlain lipstick. The Guerlain lipsticks I wanna recommend because obviously this is super great on the go. If you pull it out, it actually turns into a mirror. The color I wanna recommend, this is also super hydrating and I get so many compliments on this color, but this one is in the color number 11. It doesn't look that brown here, but trust me, when you put it on and when you layer it on, it's actually more a brown color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I haven't been able to find this exact color within any brand. And right now it's fall, winter. Trust me, just trust me. It is hydrating and this color is beautiful, especially if you are my skin tone and you want to have a darker lip. This color is so so gorgeous. And if you are a darker skin tone, this color is going to look like a beautiful nude on you. It is so nice. The only thing that I will say is obviously this is bulkier than some other lipsticks or maybe not compared to this one, but compared to some other ones, it is a little bit bulky and it's pretty hard to stand up. So just keep that in mind when you're storing this lipstick as well, that it, you know, takes up a lot of room and it probably has to lie flat or something because it, it can't stand up on its own. 
The blush that has really, really surprised me this year is the one by Too Faced. It is this one right here. I don't actually know what this blush, oh, it's called Cloud Crush. So the reason why this product really surprised me. I actually shared this on Instagram. I made a reel about it comparing this with the Dior blush because there's an identical color in that viral pink color that Dior has. And this one actually is a lot more pigmented and it's a lot cheaper. So if you've ever been interested in the Dior blush, just go with the Too Faced. It's a lot more pigmented and it's also just cheaper. So it's amazing. And also the packaging is very cute. This is the color that I like right now for fall. It's called Tequila Sunset and it's beautiful. If you guys are interested or are into powder blushes, I'm actually more a powder blush girl, but this one has really, really impressed me and I think you guys should check it out. Another product that I want to share with you is actually a lip oil. Actually, it markets as a lip oil, but I don't think it's a lip oil. I personally think it's more a lip gloss. The reason why I wanted to share with you is because number one, all their colors are amazing, but also the texture of this is hydrating, but it's not tacky. So it has the effects of a lip gloss, especially with the color, but it doesn't have that annoying lip gloss residue. You know, when your hair is literally like sticking onto it. So if you guys are really annoyed with that feeling, but you still want some sort of lip gloss, then this is your baby. This one is going to do it for you. This is by Say. It's absolutely amazing. I just discovered the brand last year and they're wonderful. So make sure you check this one out. Another product of theirs that I also really like is their Star Glow. So they actually came out with a few more colors. This one is their original. And this product, if you actually put it on your skin before your foundation, you can actually use this as a highlighter, which is what I use sometimes. And I use this, you know, when you're going out, for example, like I am tonight, I will be slathering this all over just like my upper body, but you can put this under makeup. So you have this natural glow, but you can also just put it over your body as as a natural highlight the more you blend into it obviously like that looks a little too unnatural but if you blend into it it look it gives you this really nice shiny texture so it's perfect for going out especially in the summer you can wear it kind of like all over your body another reason i like this is because i used to use the fenty product for this for when i go out and i just find that the fenty one was really sticky so if you want the effects of that beautiful glow without feeling like everything is going to be stuck on you forever, then this is your product. I have three more products to share with you. This is my favorite perfume. I think I shared with you guys last year. This is the My Way Giorgio Armani perfume. I love it. You can already tell I, I've used so much of it. I have some new favorite perfumes, but because they're quite new, I'm hesitant to share them here with you without a proper review. So I will probably do that next month if I properly review it, but I'm going to leave all the sale details as well for you guys. Make sure you shop it. This is going to be the biggest sale of the year. It's more on the floral side. So if you guys are more into musky or just like masculine vibes, this is not it. But if you are into more feminine scents, then this one, I get so many compliments on this one. The other thing I wanted to share with you is actually a pair of lashes that I keep on using. Well, not these ones exactly. I mean, this one is going to be my second wear when I use it, but the lashes by Velour. This one is called Less Is More. I really like this one because I feel like it looks really, really natural. Velour lashes, honestly, like they have an effortless line. I really like this one because the band here isn't that thick and it looks very, very natural. It doesn't look like I have heavy lashes on. So this is more like an everyday lash for me. If you guys want to check it out, this one is pretty nice. And if you guys are interested in more lashes, I can also share that with you as well. The last product I want to share with you is actually an oldie but goodie. I'm just sharing it with you because I honestly don't know if I shared it, but this is the Lancome concealer. This concealer is honestly just your ride or die. I feel like this one is not as heavy and thick as the Tarte concealer, but it covers a lot and the consistency is amazing. I've used at least three of these. I have a different color for my under eye and I also have a co different color for covering blemishes. But if you look at it, it's very heavy coverage, but it is very, very light on your skin as well. Kind of reminds me of the Tower 28 one, but it, this one doesn't have as precise of a applicator, but this formula is so gorgeous. I just absolutely love it.
Those are all my recommendations for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want a part two, let me know. Or if there's any certain categories you want me to cover, please let me know. Make sure you guys check out my website as well for my previous year Sephora recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.